Hey, 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 everyone. This is Peter Stone. It is Sunday afternoon here in Thailand, and uh, I finished up my bike ride. I got a little sunshine, and I want to welcome you to Sunday wherever you are in the world. Uh, it may not have arrived yet, but it could be just hours away. So I have, uh, this book keeps popping up. This book is so cool, so small. And uh, I forgot to flip my screen for the, uh, the words, but what it says, the name of this book is a little book called Start to Live. And I already went through the first page. And, and the first page, uh, this book, this little book, I love small books because that's, where the gems are you know people can write and write and write and and make things so complex and i think life is really simple life is super simple and um the simpler you make it the easier the happier your life will be uh, i can assure you of that and this book start to live words of clear water is native uh Australian. So I studied this book many years ago, and I'm just going to get to it. Um, so I already went through the first page. It's actually page four. Man speaks of miracles, and so does woman. But it is, but is man not a miracle? Is woman not a miracle? Are we not miracles? We are. And really, we often forget how powerful we, we, we really are, how powerful. And what life has given us. Because we build these mental walls around our, ourselves, around our mind. It's really the mind um, prison, okay, where we think we cannot do this or do that or what will so-and-so say, and that's, we're going to get into the page two, okay, and it's what, what would you say? And the, there's only one question you have to ask. What I love to do and what I want to do, will it help someone? Will it help me? And if it doesn't help someone right, a net, right, right away, it's kind of like being on the airplane, you know? If you don't help yourself first with the oxygen, the oxygen mask, they tell you put it on first, then you can help other people. It's kind of like you have to get your house, your mind, your faith, your, your um, uh, dedication to yourself handled first. Then you can go out and help the rest of the world. You got to take care of number one before you can take care of number two, number 200, number 2,000, number 2 million. It's just a simple law. We can't give anything that we don't have. We can read books, but do we really have it? Are we really sharing the vibe? So I've been living uh, these words, I think, since I was a kid, where uh, living... Uh, just walking by the sea and looking at the ocean and the miraculous life, sea life that's in the little pools by the ocean on the beach after the tide goes out. There's so much life. I, I remember I was fascinated by it. I still am today. I'm fascinated by the miracle that life is or miracles because it's endless. It's one after another after another. And if we don't recognize that, how can we appreciate it? And then what we do is we're like, oh, we feel bad because we don't have this, we don't have that. But you look around and you got a lot. You own it all. You own the sun, the moon, the stars. The roads you're driving on don't belong to anybody but you. I mean, it's it's not about the building, the house that you live in. You own it. The guy doesn't own it next door and all that. It's like owning your life. That's the thing that's the biggest possession, that you own your own life. And how do you do that? So on page two of this little book, it says you are a part of the great spirit. Doesn't matter which spirit that is. We all have our spirit above or around us that we connect with, right? So 
you, you and me and everyone is perfection, right? We came here perfectly, uh, came out, we're still alive, we're still kicking around, we're doing what we do. And therefore, we are imperfectly perfect, right? What a, I mean, the way it imperfectly is like we think we should do this or be that or someone worse. Someone says we should be this and be. No, no, you should be you. I should be me. And we should share each other's me and you and you and me. Because I can never get to know you if you agree with everything I say. And I can never get to know you if you agree and vice versa. I agree with you, you agree with me, everything. No, because we're different. And that's exciting. Not like, oh, wow, I'm weird. No, no, no. You're human and you're perfect. So <clears throat> here we go. I'll just read it straight out. You are part of the great spirit. You are perfection. You have allowed others to place limitations upon you. We all have. It's kind of human, right? Now is the time of awareness. There's nothing better than being aware in the moment, present in the moment. Now is the time for remembrance. You have chosen this, whatever you are, wherever you are in your life today. It's your choice. I mean, the poorest of people have become very rich if it's money. The most unhealthy of people have become very healthy. The most fearful people have become brave and strong. Because we can. We have the power to change, but we have to go forth. We want others to help us. We listen to them, guide us, but then we have to emerge uh, from wherever we are to our strongest you, the strongest me. Uh, that's where we're the strongest, when we live into our best and most desirable mindset, thoughts, skills, beliefs. They don't have to be the same. But the life spirit should be the same. Uplift, energized, vibrant, living into your day, enjoying your day, smiling, just enjoying life. Doesn't have to be a burden. It can be for a little bit, but then you just figure it out. So no other, you, you've chosen this, right? But no, no one else can choose your life for you. We, I see, you know, some people, oh, you got to be a lawyer, you got to be a doctor because I'm your parent. And that's what I say you have to do, really. Like, you see unhappy people in the world because it's like culturally right sometimes to do what your parents tell you. Like, the way I raised my, raised my daughter is like, well, when she got home from the hospital, uh, the first day we turned on the music so she could feel the spirit of life. And, and I would rock her in my arms and we did all kinds of different music, right? Um, and that I wanted her to be free to live her life in her own way. Whatever that was, it wasn't like, you got to be a doctor, you got to be a lawyer, you got to have a lot of money and all this. Sure, I would love her to have a, plenty of money. That's not an issue. Because I know through my experience, when I lived through life doing what I wanted to do all my life, I've always done what I've chosen to do. With the bumps, you know, it's just normal stuff. That's life. But I've always headed in the direction that I have chosen. And it's not always easy. It just doesn't matter. That part doesn't matter. What matters is you do what your heart and your soul tells you to do. And you'll be the best and the highest value for those around you. And those that don't agree with you, well, they have to go their own way. And you'll find new people show up that that support your world, support what it is that you you in your heart of hearts want to do and want to be. 
It's not, there's no should here. There is when you live into your heart, your spirit, and your soul, and you feel good about what you're doing because it makes you happy and uplifts you and actually propels you forward. That thing should be the thing. I am sorry I used that word should, but that thing is the thing that is most valuable for you that is most uplifting and that's where the fire from within comes that will drive you so whatever it is you want to do you will not stop because whether it's health or wealth or your mind you're managing your mind or adventure whatever it is you want just go for it there's no right or wrong what's right is what is right for you no other can choose it for you. You must. You must choose it for yourself. So let's do a quick review. Page two, start to live. If you haven't, I'm sure you have. But how about accelerate living into who you really are? So you are part of the great spirit. You are perfection, yet you have allowed others, and I too, to place limitations upon me. I have, I have done that, but not for long, I can tell you that. Now is the time of awareness. Now is the time for remembrance. You have chosen this. No other can choose it for you. Remember who you are. Think deep and, and live into what is best for you. So I'll just hit this book every day. I might miss a day, but every day for until it comes to the end, until the end of it. I mean, I've highlighted this a long time ago. It's um, one of the few books that I think, I thought, how can I really inspire others? It's not necessarily me, what I have to say, but what I have learned and how I have put it into my life, just like what I can share here. These are the really gems that made a difference in my life because I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to waste anybody's time here. And I want to help me again because I like to remember these gems. I've talk, been talking about this, well, really for many years because I've lived into it. And I find these books and I go, yeah, that's it. That's what I've been doing. This helps cement it, and it makes things good for me and for you, and it reminds me so I can share it with you. So this is Peter Stone, and I wanted to share that. You have a wonderful day, evening, or life, wherever you are in the world. And so I'll say aloha or sawadee krap from Thailand.